Now an update to a reality check on the city of Mobile's problem with overgrown grass. The city will now hand over some of its grass cutting responsibilities to an outside contractor. Derek Rose continues to track developments in the story live from the Dolphin Island Parkway tonight. Derek. Greg, this is one of the problem areas here along Dolphin Island Parkway. And think of it like this. How often does the average person keep their grass cut? During the summertime, they would probably say they'd like to keep it cut at least once a week if they can. But some areas in town are going more than three weeks between one trimming and the next. It's the city's latest mea culpa on its problem keeping the grass low. We haven't been able to deliver the grass cutting we'd like to. The cycle time to cut is, uh, is way too extended across the board. Public Works Director Bill Harkins today admitting some places go as long as 25 days without being cut. One of them, Medal of Honor Park, featured in a local 15 reality check investigation last month. The grass, I can't see the children's feet most of the time. Not only were residents unhappy, so were city employees. In one respect, you can say we failed, but by, in another sense, you know, we're doing the best that we can with what we have. Not enough staff and failing equipment, both given as reasons then. Today, though, a possible solution at city council. 16 thoroughfares in town will now be the responsibility of an outside contractor. The hope is to allow city crews to focus on parks more efficiently, while at the same time, the outsourced crews take on those highly traveled roadways. This is the first time that I've done this, that this has not really been pursued before. So we're kind of hitting some new ground. It was a citizen complaint that led to our initial story, and as a result, parents cut the grass at Medal of Honor, and city crews followed with a touch-up as well, but continued calls from citizens unhappy with a three-week wait crank the engine on this latest move. How you cut your grass in Mobile, Alabama in the summertime, you want to cut it a lot more often than that. And the contractor in this case has not been chosen yet, but if you'd like to see the full list of the 16 locations that contractor will be responsible for, we've got it posted right now on our homepage at local15tv.com. Live tonight in Mobile, I'm Derek Rose, Local 15 News. All right, Derek, thanks. And if you'd like to watch our original story about the need for better grass maintenance in Mobile, go to the Reality Check page of our website, local15tv.com. A homeowner in Michigan.